Belly, belly. Come here. Oh, this is certainly to a good intro. My dog, Elliot, does not want to come to me. Elliot, come here! Elliot, move. Or, Elliot, move. Elliot! Elliot, come! Elliot, come! Come here, Elliot! Well, here comes Ellie. Ellie, come. Oh, yes, I love you too. See, this is my Ellie Belly. Uh, her name's Ellie, by the way. We call her Ellie Belly because that's it's a pet name. So, might as well do it. Um, <laughs> she's a good girl. Sorry, I'm trying to cover her up because she likes to be covered. And so is my other dog, Elliot, which I'm going to attend to right now. And I'll be right back. My lunch today is lasagna from Udi's. And uh, it's microwavable, so you can actually have it when you're having celiac disease and need to eat uh, gluten-free. Um, both lasagnas, these are, this is the uh, sausage lasagna. In the microwave for five minutes. For two of them, will be ten minutes. Um, yeah, it's very good, and uh, I'm going to have this for right now, and um, I'll talk to you guys after I'm done. Hello and good Sunday morning. I hope you guys are having a great week. Um, I certainly did. My wife and I went to Fresno on Friday. Then we went to Clovis on Friday. And then we came back home. We put on 171 miles in one tank of gas. That was actually a half a tank when we got back home. Then yesterday, uh, my wife and I, we actually did a lot of driving we actually went to um Tulare and had breakfast what do we do in fresno well we went to whole foods did we find any food that was gluten-free yes but was it a major portion was it a like over a hundred dollars we got like only maybe six things that was over sixty dollars that would be probably the probably the last time I'm going to that going to the uh, one in Fresno, the Whole Foods in Fresno, due to the fact that it was so expensive. But other than that, this whole week has been kind of like a f cluster of a lot of things that's been going on. But uh, I'm still continuing to try to find a a um, a vehicle mm, it's going to be hopefully a truck but if I can't find a truck then I'm going to have to resort to an SUV yes I'm going to possibly get an SUV but not a big one I think it's going to possibly be a small one a V6 a four-wheel drive hopefully but here's the thing when I was on Facebook we contacted a whole bunch of people no, we've contacted a bunch of people in in Porterville. Some of, like two of them so far actually put down nine hundred dollars for a vehicle, and then we get in we we get to talk talking to them and wanting to actually meet them on a certain day and everything else, and they would jack up their prices to four twelve hundred dollars or fourteen hundred dollars. Now, here's the thing. Uh, it's not Facebook is not an auction. Facebook is to sell your vehicle or sell your item at a specific price. It's not an auction like eBay. You're trying to do an eBay on your car. Trust me, your vehicle is not worth twelve hundred dollars if there's something wrong with it or you have back tags on it. Just my point of view. You know, you, you, you want you said there's something wrong with like the back window, it's shattered out. Let's sell it for nine hundred dollars. Let's see if we can auction it off. Yeah, gotta be smart because when you duplicate your vehicle, nine hundred dollars, twelve hundred dollars, it's not gonna work. So therefore, I'm not gonna play those games, and um. I'm just waiting to find a vehicle that I can actually use to go camping and fishing. And to have fun. And go go full wheeling as well. 
And it's not going to be like your major hardcore four wheeling that you're going to go in the in the mud and have it all the way up to your front back back and front bumper. No, my four wheeling is going to be more like going fishing and trying to find places that I can actually get into and then get in and go fishing and go exploring a little bit. That's my kind of fishing. That's my kind of stuff. This is going to be like a a touring overland vehicle, and um, I'm going to be doing that and I'm glad about that so it is quite an experience that I never thought I would actually just go through um on Facebook but it is also been an experience here at living living here next to a drug house so I will talk to you guys later on about that situation, and um, I'm trying to be positive, and I'm going to actually do this. My wife and I had a great time in Fresno. I mean, we went to double, uh, it was l l Hawaiian, and they have some really good food there, and I miss it. I, I should have took a picture, but I didn't. But I will be going back over there soon, too. Oh, and another thing. If you're going to buy a vehicle, don't get it at a, at a junkyard or in a salvage yard. Because, number one, you have to pay a lien or either that, a salvage title. You can't drive your vehicle until you get the salvage title done at the DMV. And then take the salvage title, put it in your vehicle, and then go go have it inspected for $100 or 200 bucks, whatever how much is going to be for the mechanic to inspect it to see if it is actually deemed or safe to drive on the road. Not a good idea. So I'm trying to find one that is from a, from a, a seller, uh, from not a dealer, an owner of the vehicle, somebody that has a pink slip and also the everything. The tags and everything else. You know how hard it is to find one of the, some of those people, and there's nothing wrong with it except you know because all the transmissions are actually screwed up on a vehicle. So it's transmission screwed up, and something's in the ignition screwed up. I had to use a a, a um, flat headed screwdriver to actually break it and then start it. Kind of one of those things where you're sitting there going, yeah. It's not a good idea for me to buy that vehicle if it's have to use it with uh, uh that's my dog Elliot. Um yeah, it's not a good idea to buy a vehicle that uh, somebody has to use a screwdriver to actually turn the key, turn the put it in the key and start it. So, talk to you guys all on um next Monday. Have a good one.